Now for this part of the question, we've got to use linear interpolation to estimate the median for this data here. The median I prefer to call Q2. Now to estimate the median with linear interpolation, what I tend to do is draw a number line. And this number line represents a class interval, one of these class intervals here where the median is going to lie. Now we've got 56 students and when we're handling continuous data what we tend to do is to find the median just simply divide it by 2 to find out the position that it's going to be in. And if we divide 56 by 2 we're looking for the 28th value. And because these are written in order of size the 28th value is going to occur in this interval because you've got 6 in this interval, 1 to 10, followed by another 15 in this interval. That's 21 up to this particular point. Once you've taken into account these next 11 values, that brings you up to 32 values. So the median, the 28th value, is going to occur in this interval here, class interval 21 to 25. So what I'm going to look at then is this interval here. But instead of writing 21 to 25, remember we're doing it to the nearest hour. So for this example, this will be going from 20.5 to 25.5. And up to 20.5, you've got a total of 21 values. So I would mark 21 in here. And up to 25.5 you've got 6, 15 and 11 values, a total of 32 if you add 6, 15 and 11. So I'd put 32 here. So I'm looking for Q2 which we've seen is the 28th value and the 28th value is going to be closer obviously to this 32, not far from it. So this is the 28th value and this will be Q2. Now what I do is a ratio equation. I just simply compare intervals. I compare, say, this interval here, this width, which is Q2 minus 20.5. Let's just write it down. Q2 minus 20.5. That width there is compared with the width below it. Let's just do that as a dotted red line, like that, okay? And that width will be 28 minus 21, okay? Now, I can compare an equivalent width. Let's say we look at this blue width up here, all the way across there. That would be equal to 25.5 minus 20.5 and that's compared with the equivalent width below which I'll do in blue, that one there, which goes from 21 to 32. So I work out that width as 32 minus 21. Now I've done this before in my tutorials, so if you're uh, still struggling with this concept just look at my tutorials on estimating the median and lower quartiles, upper quartiles by linear interpolation and you'll see how I do similar ones to this. So once we've got our ratio equation set up all we need to do is just rearrange it for Q2. So therefore Q2 will equal, well if we do 25.5 minus 20.5 that's obviously going to give me 5 so we've got 5 there, over 32 take away 21, so that's 11. And if I do 28 minus 21, that's 7. And I can multiply both sides by that value, 7, and then finally add on the 20.5. Okay, so I've done it in a few stages there and just jumped them really. So you might want to take it at a slower pace, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you. But there you go, 5 elevenths times 7 plus 20.5. Work that out on your calculator and you should find you get 20.5.
23.68181 and so on. And if we round this to say three significant figures, it's going to be 23.7 to 3 SF. Alright, 